everyone, welcome to the series of multi-agent system with Google Agent Development Kit, ADK. Have you ever wondered what exactly is a multi-agent system? And how can multiple AI agents actually work together? Or how does Google ADK make it easier for developers for you and me? And if you have those questions, you're in the right place. By the end of the series, you will understand what is multi-agent system, and you'll be able to build your own multi-agent systems with ADK. So in today's episode, we will cover three parts. Firstly, what is multi-agent system? Secondly, how ADK support multi-agent system development? And thirdly, is the foundational concept of agent hierarchy. All right, let's get started. So the first part of this episode is what is multi-agent system? At its core, a multi-agent system is when individual agents work together. And to really understand it, let's break it into three key ideas. The first is decentralized control. There's no single boss. Each agent just decides for itself. You can think of it like a flock of birds just swirling in the sky. There's no leader. But together, they form amazing credible patterns. So the second point is local view. Each agent only knows what's around it, but not the whole system. Imagine yourself standing in a crowded stadium. You can only see and react to the people nearby, but not the entire crowd. And the lastly is emergent behavior. This is where the magic happens. You know, for those single local rules, amazing global patterns emerge. And in this scenario, agents work together to solve a complex problem that not single agent can solve easily. So the second part of today's episode is how ADK support multi-agent system. Google Agent Development Kit ADK was built in with multiple agent support in mind. Instead of you just hack things together, it gives you three main types of agent and each with specific roles. So the first type is LM agent. So those are like the brain. They use large language model like Gemini to understand user's input and reasoning about it to decide what tool to pick and what to do next. And the second type is workflow agent. Those are like your manager. They orchestrate how agents working together to get the task done. They have three types of workflow agent. The first type is sequential agent. They run agents one after each other in assembly line. And the second type of workflow agents are parallel agents. They run multiple tasks all at once. It's like calling several APIs in parallel. And the third type of workflow agents are loop agent. You just repeat a task until it's done. And the last type of agent for ADK is custom agent. They're like the specialists. Imagine you can write your own Python logic by inheriting from base agent when you need to have the full control. OK, now if you want to try those agents, check out the links and QR code on the screen to try them yourself. The third part of today's episode is about agent hierarchy. They're the backbone. So when you build with ADK, agents form a hierarchy like an organizational chart. So how does it work together? They have parents and sub-agent. And a parent agent can manage multiple sub-agent. And they follow single parent rule. That is, each sub-agent only have one parent agent. You can think of it like a company. The root agent is a CEO. And the sub-agent are VPs, managers, and workers. Everyone knows their roles. And together, they get the job done. All right, let's wrap up today's episode. We talk about what exactly is multi-agent system. They are decentralized. Each agent only have local view, and they have complex behavior emerge globally. And we also talk about ADK support with three categories, like LM agent, workflow agent, and customer agent. And lastly, we covered agent hierarchy, the org chart of your system. So this is a foundation. If you want to practice, don't forget to check the link in the description. And in next episode, we'll go deeper into workflow orchestration and how agents actually communicate with each other. And I will see you there. Bye.